hey everyone <clears throat> i am vinit uh, vinit sharma i am a software developer at mecom and have been contributing to open mrs since uh, 2021 today i'll be uh, moving ahead with the uh, the o3 architecture and the uh, setting up o3 so this is the uh, this is the repo to uh, our distro reference application of the o3 right so basically if uh, let's first start with uh, what is o3 so most of you might know that o3 is a is the latest version of open mrs that is being built uh, using the latest technologies and uh, ui ux experiences right so to uh, to start with uh, like setting up uh, open mrs 3 on your system what we can do is that we can uh, move ahead to git pod.io right wherein we get we get to start our workspaces so what this reference application has it has the uh, the back end and the front end and the gateway implemented in it right so uh, to set up uh, the open mrs tree on our systems since this is a uh, this runs on docker and docker can be pretty heavy and i guess most of you might not have uh, like <clears throat> might not have docker on the systems so i suggest you to move ahead to gitpod.io wherein you can uh where you can log in with your github id right and to start up a new workspace yes to start up a new workspace what you can do is that you can click on new workspace and the link to the repo that i just shared with you in the chat you can put that link in here and you can select the system as large in your pc so uh, after logging into the git pod right so let's say i continue with my github profile okay so as you can see that i have logged in to uh, into git pod with my github profile so i have this button here uh, saying new workspace right so after clicking this uh, button after after like you can start a new workspace and the link to the repo that i shared before then i'm sharing again in the chat you can paste that link into the uh, <clears throat> into into the input box here right and you can select a large system in here so that it doesn't take much time uh, setting up and then you can start with uh, clicking continue on this so what it will do what it will do is that it will provide you all with the vs code so basically you get uh, uh, an interface to like interface to uh, interact with the machine right and it will uh, it will start building the uh, the docker image automatically if if someone is not able to uh, like if someone is not getting this auto uh, this starting started automatically right they can uh, start the build process with docker compose build and to be clear normally uh, we're, we're using git pod as a way to speed up this process today instead of making sure everyone already has docker installed etc back to you vinit thank you guys so either this uh, like either the git pod must have started the docker compose build or you can start the build by yourself by running the command docker compose build which you can find in the readme as well of the project right so after we run the docker compose build it basically pulls uh, the images from the docker hub uh, since i have already like run the project on my git pod for the uh, for for saving some time i'll be happy to show the logs from here right so what it does is that it it uh, it fetches the backend repo from the maven right and it fetches the front end uh, front end from the docker hub and it just builds them all together yeah in the mean, in the in the meantime feel free to go through the readme uh what you how you can open the readme is that you in on the left hand panel you can see this readme.md so you can click on this readme.md and it will open this file to view this file properly there is an icon up up here with the microscope in it right or a lens in it sorry not microsoft sorry a lens with in it so you can open that 
click on that and it will open a preview of the readme and you feel free to go through the readme to know more of, about the project uh, what all it is doing and how it's doing so okay so the next command that we will we will be uh, running is the docker compose up command this command uh, this process will take a, uh, some time right it it uh, what it does is that it creates the table in the database it it fills up the database and and a lot more process that we have right so after running the docker compose up uh, you will see a lot of commands that are running ahead right after uh, like uh, you will get some prompts here with the uh, saying that uh, there are few ports that are open now okay you can access okay so basically uh, you can access those ports from after on clicking the ports tab here and you can see the ports here okay that's great that's great okay so once uh, so how you can view the ports again you can click on the ports tab here and you, you will be directed in here now we will open the link that we have mapped to the port 80 so uh, after we click on this link this will uh, this will move uh, like redirect us to the o3 ui right so uh, this is the latest uh, o3 which is which is uh, like available to us on slash open mrs slash spa which is pa right if if uh, after clicking this port sorry after after opening the icon if you are having some uh, troubles seeing this ui that you have I would recommend you to go to slash open MRS and see if the installation pro process is still running there. You, you, you will see uh, an image here uh, with an installation process. Uh, okay, so uh, redirect to slash open MRS and, uh, and I guess you, you, must, you should be able to see the installation in progress. I guess I can start it in here in my other system, other workspace, sorry. Compose up. Uh, so the, the yeah, yes, uh, the errors that you are seeing that is because the installation is still in progress and you can move ahead to slash open MRS to see the progress of your installation. So, So if like as I got the uh, the ports in here, you might be getting these errors on the O3 UI. So you can move ahead to slash open MRS, and in here you can see this screen, which says that installation is in progress, and this might take some uh, time. Okay. Uh, so once this installation is complete, uh, setting up your O3 is complete. So this is the whole step that is required for setting up your O3. It, it's a time taking process because it, it creates the whole database and uh, it, it, does, it does take some time. So once the installation is complete and you see these two input boxes on your browser, feel free to go to openmrs slash spa and slash, right? After uh, like writing slash spa, you can, hit enter and it will take you to the open MRS three UI. The credentials for this is admin and the password for this is admin one, two, three. Okay. And after this, I can log in, uh, I can view the different, uh, locations that we have in the applications. And as I keep scrolling, it will, it will keep fetching the next set of locations for me. And let's say if I select the outpatient clinic location, I can confirm in here. And now I am in the OpenMRS3 UI logged in. Now I am logged in into the home page, and we have different uh, 
sections here as well for the same. We have 50 demo de demo patient in this application ready. So to to get uh, a link to get to view the patients, what you can do is that you can start typing one zero and then enter. So you will get a list of all the patients that you have here, right? And if I let's say if I go to Michelle Lewis, so this is the patient chart of the of this patient, the Michelle Lewis with some demo data already present in the application. So this is the whole process of how you can uh, set up your set up O3 on your systems. I hope it's an easy process. Uh, it's just uh, running two commands and it should be good to go.